Yes, we saw Ant at a table tennis. What event, events did you check out yesterday? Uh, I got to women's indoor volleyball, China versus the uh, U.S., so it was a fun, fun atmosphere. Volleyball dad, myself, got volleyball in my blood, all the women in my family, so it was, uh, it was pretty cool to go over there and watch them. Seems like you're savoring the other parts of this experience beyond basketball. You go to things like that. Uh, and how much is that on your mind to soak up all of that? It's all a part of the uh, first time experience. Like, obviously, you have to maintain the priority of preparing yourself to play and you know, the recovery process and all that, but I had a little window to get around and hopefully have a couple more opportunities to go see some other events. There's amazing athletes all the way around and different uh, environments that I've never been in, so I'm going to take full advantage of it for sure. For sure. I think it's it's not that hard of an adjustment. It's like playoff basketball, just with you know different dimensions on the court, shorter time frame from 48 to 40 minutes. But it's, it's a physical brand of basketball. The really the biggest adjustment is for us as a team to put all our different skill sets together on the fly. Like if, if this team had a full year of like you know training and and chemistry and all that, we wouldn't be talking about the adjustment that much. It's just because we have to go from playing against each other for years and years and years to then now playing together in a five-week span. So, And a lot of us have had FIBA, not, maybe not Olympic experience, but we've had FIBA experience in the past. So you're kind of used to the, the change, and um, I think that's why we're off to a good start. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess you could say it like that. It's, it's uh, from Vegas to uh, Abu Dhabi to London to here. Like we've had a pretty good following, and I know there's a lot of excitement about this uh, specific team with the different storylines of guys that are here. My first time, Katie, the all-time you know Olympics leading scorer, Bron trying to go for his fourth medal. You know some newcomers with Ant. And, Halliburton, like Book, Bam, Tatum, who have won uh, Olympic medals before. So, like, there's a storyline within itself with each individual guy, but us as a team, like, everybody wants to see us, you know, perform. Um, and it's been great to kind of feed off of that energy for sure. Is there a level of respect for South Sudan that you didn't have before? And how does having seen them already, you think, help them out? We have appropriate fear of everybody. Like it's the exhibition schedule was great because you got to figure out where we need to get better and also feel the force of teams that are coming trying to beat us, no matter if it's a friendly or you know uh, an Olympic game. And I think more so, it just challenges you to mentally prepare for a team that you might not know a lot about ahead of time from a scout report standpoint, to then make the necessary adjustments that we're going to make to uh, to have a better showing against against them, because they're a very high octane offense. They can spread the floor, shoot a lot of threes. They have athleticism. So you just got to be mindful of how to guard them. It's totally different than Serbia. It's going to be totally different than Puerto Rico on Saturday. So it's like making those necessary adjustments are, are are huge in a tournament like this where you only have six games. But because of what happened Last one. in the friend, is it fair to say that everything is just a little more heightened going into tomorrow? I mean, honestly, if you don't get heightened just by being here, like, I don't care who you're playing. Like, we know we can't just sleepwalk through any game and, and feel like you're going to win, let alone uh, or play well, let alone win. I think. Serbia game, Serbian game, even though we beat them by whatever in the exhibition, we knew it was going to be a harder game. The score reflected our mental focus and our intensity uh, over the course of 40 minutes, even with a, a rough start. So we have to bring that the same energy for sure. Like I said, it's appropriate fear of we're beatable if we don't play our game. But if we do, we're, we have a lot of confidence we can beat everybody.